Um, no, some of the stuff that Gavin was talking about there that um, I think we're going to see more and more software coming into the newsroom um, to help us deal with the sheer amount of data that's out there. Um, we're already seeing an awful lot of data being put up on websites and uh, at times um, you'll see unnamed government departments and, and places putting up information you know, at a half six on a Friday evening where there's a good chance the journalist will miss it. So I think that there's going to be an increasing need for us to be able to know when they, uh, you know, to have tools to help point us towards the news. Um, but also, I think that you're going to see more of it because as more and more data comes on stream, we're going to need more and more people who can interpret it. So I think that journalism, um, especially in Ireland, I think that there's, there's been quite, it's been sort of a slow uptake on data journalism, but I think that that's going to have to expand over time. It's not to say that traditional journalism is going to fall away because in actual fact, you know, you need the same mentality and the same, um, and you still need context and you still need to ring somebody up and you still need to uh, sense check is a word that we've been hearing a lot today and the information that's in front of you um, but I do think that it's an area that is going to expand in, in the Irish context would you agree? Uh, yeah so I'd, I'd probably say that you know I've been doing data journalism in one form or another for uh, six six years and that sometimes would include investigations like like an Anglo tape story or sometimes it would be a, a you know I FOI a department for all of their expenditure and ask them to export it into a CSV and email it to me and they don't really like doing that. Um, but to me, all of those processes of data journalism right now are all um, non-systemized, uh, uh, work-intensive, human-intensive processes. So I think the shift that's going to have to happen is that, that those processes will become more, more and more automated and that's, that's going to allow, I think, opportunities for building entire products out of that kind of stream of information for lack of a better phrase.